All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel for another EVE Online video. Today we're doing something pretty special. We're doing part two of my series where I take Navy frigates into the abyss and find out exactly how far they can go when you bling them out. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just in a tier zero to test out this frigate and kind of get a sense for what it feels like because I've never flown it. Um, so I'm just going to go straight to the gate here and I'm just gonna blow up these uh, Teslas on the way. And so this is a hook bill. So I've never flown a hook bill before. Um, and it's a rocket fit. So this fit was actually inspired off of uh, Caldera Jones fit. Yeah, so they're out of range already. So let's see what's gonna happen here. Uh, he's coming back in. All right, here we go. Okay, so rockets have a pretty fast fire rate. I've never flown a rocket fit before. There we go. All right. So let me show you guys what this fit looks like. Oops, that's not it. So this fit was inspired, inspired off of uh, Caldari Jones' rocket hook bill. And let's actually switch this view here just to show you guys. There we go. All right, so I cannot claim credits for this fit. This was Caldari Jones' fit, and then I blinged it up a little bit. So we're using tier two rocket launchers here in the highs. And then we are also using um, all factions in the mids here. So I've got a 5MN micro warp drive, terminal shield amplifier, battery, small shield extender, and a shield booster as well. Everything faction, everything uh, blinged out. The only thing I didn't really bling out on this ship was actually the uh, ballistic control system because I, um, I did not, let me just, hold on, let me just orbit this guy at 5,000. Because I actually didn't want to spend 400 million on this bit simply because we are going to be blowing it up. So I'm going from tier 0, tier 1, tier 2. And if I can, I'm going to try to do a tier 3 as well. And this bit will eventually blow up. And once it does, you guys will also have an opportunity to win this ship. So I didn't want to bling out the ballistic control system because that would have brought the ship up to 400 mil. Um, and that's already, uh, 200 mil is already enough. Um, so let's see what happens here. So... Devoted Hunter. Now this this ship, the, the hook bill, the way I have it fitted, I'm going to reach 3 kilometers a second with this this fit. And I think that's what's going to save me in a lot of instances against the, the harder ships in Tier 2 probably. So I think I'll do Tier 1 just fine. Um, but I'm going to try to explain everything that I do as I'm doing it. Um, and try to show you guys how I react to the spawn. So I've never flown this ship before. I just recently manage to uh, finish learning the skills that I need to to make uh, to make this fit as high in DPS as possible. Now it's 223 here. It could be higher if these were tier 2 or um, or faction ones like I mentioned. Uh, but I just cannot fit the tier 2 with my current uh, power grid and CPU. And I didn't feel like spending on the, the faction ones either. Okay, so this is a Damovic. Now it is cap stable. Um... And what you'll notice here, incredibly high thermal resistance, because I think that the ships that will actually be able to kill me will probably do thermal damage. Um, otherwise, the other resistances are kind of low. Um, I could have put a little bit of work into the EM resistance, but I don't think EM is really going to be the challenge here, because most ships that shoot EM are uh, turret-based ships, and I can probably outrun those at three kilometers a second. And then most ships that shoot thermal are going to be your kikis your venmac which i'll have to be close range anyways to handle them or the marshals which um the attacker marshal does thermal damage so uh the arrestor marshal could do explosive but that's um not as common of a spawn all right so tier zero incredibly easy obviously so let's go get the filaments for tier one and let's jump into that all right here we go jumping into a tier one filament now, the last time I did this, I did it with a Federation Navy Comet. I had about 150 DPS, um, but the fit was a lot more um, was a lot more active. I have an auxiliary. I had an auxiliary shield booster on it as well. Uh, what is this? Blast needles? Yeah, should be fine. Uh, let's see. Let's actually orbit the gate. Let's turn this on and let's start. Let's start targeting these guys. Probably going to hit a speed cloud here on my way to the gate. We'll see what happens. Um, and I have a lot of choices here in between the different rockets. So let's go ahead and let's check out the long range, with which I think I get about uh, 31 kilometers, I think. 
Yeah, 31 kilometer with the long range one. That's probably what I'm going to have to use against the uh, Triglavian spawns. Oh, here we go. That's the speed cloud. Let's see what happens. Okay, interesting. So, yeah, so the long range rocket is still a decent amount of DPS. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, so last time I was using Federation Navy Comet, and I made it all the way to the end of a tier 2 filament, and I died because of time. And if I would have had an extra maybe 30 to 45 seconds, I could have actually completed a tier 2 filament in the Federation Navy Comet. So I'm super excited to find out what happens here. Do we make it further with this ship than we made it with the Federation Navy Comet? That remains to be seen. The challenge with this fit is the overall um, tankability of it. Um, it's more a ship that's going to be... Uh, speed tanked and not so much shield tank just because of how low all the resistances are and I tried to counter that like I said by going uh, high on the thermal resistance and just try to um, try to make sure that I could easily blast uh, thermal spawns which are the Triglavian ships now just like last time I'm going to fast forward like I probably just did now uh, in the moments that are a little bit more quiet. And I'm also going to sort of leave it up to myself as to whether or not I want to s loot all the caches, uh, all the bio caches as I do this. Uh, if I have an opportunity, say like last time, to uh, finish a tier two filament and I have to skip on the cache to be able to do it because of time, then I'm probably going to skip on the cache. But right now, this is a tier one filament. Just want to see how fast we can do this while looting as well. Kind of curious to see um, what it's capable of. So let's go ahead and let's try to just maybe land this one in sub six minutes if we can. All right, so this is a Karen and I was just in a speed cloud there. Let's see. And let's switch to close range rockets targeting these guys. All right, so I'm orbiting the Karen at uh, 2,500, I believe here, and I'm going to start hitting the Lancer. All right, so this is probably gonna take a little while for me to kill these ones. Well, while we do this, since we are orbiting, let me show you guys the fence once more. I know sometimes it's nice to uh, get the full range of what's in the fit. There you go. So you guys can take a look at this. You can take a screenshot if you want. Like I said, everything in the mids is faction. Um, I had to buy the Domination because that was the only one that was available in my region. Um, ideally, though, I think I had originally done the fit with a Republic, Republic Fleet uh, Terminal Shield Amplifier because it was a bit cheaper, but I had to actually put money into it. Um, and yeah, this is, uh, if this ship survives, well, whether or not it survives, uh, I'm I'm hoping it's going to blow up at some point. But whether or not it survives, I'm going to also do a giveaway at the end of the video. So this is the part where I say hit that subscribe button, support the channel, like the video, because at the end of this one, if you guys are subscribed, you'll have a chance at actually winning this ship and I deliver it to wherever you need me to. Okay, what happened here? Why did I stop hitting it? the Lancer there. There we go. Okay, that was weird. Now let's blow up the Karen. I don't think she's happy, guys. I think she wants to speak to the manager. Well, I'm the manager here, bitch. Okay. All right, room two is completed. This one was just really, uh, a bit of a longer run. Karen's always do take a couple of minutes to handle. And let's see what we get into the final room of our first tier one filament. All right, another easy spawn. Let's blast these guys out. Actually, you know what? I think I'll orbit the cash on this one. Now I believe Damovix try to stay within 8K of you. Um, as much as possible, so that does make things a little bit easier. I 
I gotta say, rockets, shooting rockets out of this ship is actually very satisfying. And this concludes our tier 1 filament. So we knew that was going to be easy, it took 8 minutes and a half basically to do it a little longer than I wanted to. But it's a great warm up before I go into the more difficult filaments. Alright boys, we're doing it live. Let's see what happens. Place your bets below in the comments. Am I getting through this tier 2 filament or am I not? Okay, so right off the bat we get ourselves a... What is this? Harrowing Venmac. Okay. So we're going to go with the Tangling Namavik first and then the Striking one. So let's try to do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And the Harrowing is fairly close. Okay, so we're manual piloting here. I'm going to try to stay as far away from... Oh, this is not great for me, actually, This this uh, this tower here. Okay, here we go. The harrowing is putting damage on me. So, how am I going to do this? Let's take out the two Damavix first, and then we'll see if my... Let's see here. No, I got there. Maybe Scourge. Okay, that's... Uh, actually, no, you know what? God damn it. A bit too slow on that. Okay, so lots of manual piloting. And let's see. Can we keep this Damavix within range of these missiles here? What do we have? 20 kilometers. Okay. Where is this guy? There he is. Okay. Here we go. So we're just going to manually pilot. And every time that I see the range starts increasing again, I'm going to start um, taking a bit of a curve in my path. Um, is he flying into? No, he's not. Uh, let me see here. What can I do? Okay. First of all, we can slow down. What's his speed? 28. Okay. He's going to catch up to me. Um... And the Venmac is stuck on the rocks there. Okay, so I think I'm going to do something similar with the Venmac, where I'm going to set a speed that's going to be hard for the Venmac to catch up to me. But at least I'll be able to kind of like zigzag left to right to keep him within range. Am I still shooting him? What's happening? There we go. Okay. So... What do I have on right now? I'm actually lagging a little bit here. That's not great. Let's put on Javelin. Okay, so he is flying right around the same speed I am. You see, when he turns his micro rub drive on, I think his max speed is 1800. Yeah, he's about to cap out at 1800 here. Let me see, do I have Javelin on? I do, 31 kilometers. Okay, let's see if this is enough DPS first um, to kill him. Okay, so we're going through shields right now. What I'm wondering is, do I win the war against his armor repper, essentially? Um, or is his armor repper going to um, to out-repair the damage that I'm putting out with these javelin rockets here? And then it's going to become that, the same question in tier 2 filaments as well. Because say, for example, ooh, yeah, okay, I'm within his range here. So let's just increase speed a little bit. Um, let's try to stay out of his range. There we go. Okay, so that worked. Now let's start zigzagging. Okay, so so far so good. It might take a little while, but we can see he's starting to go down here. Ooh, that's not great. That's not great. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's try something else. Let's orbit 25. Max speed, orbit at 25. Come on. Okay, this might actually work, because he's going to try to keep up with me. So I should be able to keep him within 30 kilometer range here, but it should be just outside of it. Let's see what happens. 
Damn, that's not great. Let's reload, let's see what happens. There we go. All right. First room completed in a tier two filament against a vet Mac in a Caldari Navy hook build. Wow. Okay. Interesting. So two turret, three turret based and one, um, one missile base. So let's orbit the gate here at 10. Try to maximize my speed and then let's take out the missile based enemies first, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so these guys are doing thermal and thermal and EM damage. Hmm. I don't know about this one, guys. That's a lot of incoming DPS. You know what? After this guy goes down, I think I'm going to load my Rage Rockets. Uh, or the Caldari Navy Scorch Rockets. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can out repair the damage here until I uh, until I can start putting damage there we go okay so he's going uh, the range here seems to be going like yeah about 10 kilometers to like 20 ish I think this will be the best choice of rockets it's my max range is 20 let's see what happens here I'm still taking a lot of damage um, obviously oh yeah okay we're gonna have to uh, Overheat a little bit here, fortunately. God damn it. It's actually a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Let's overheat the rockets. Oh my. I gotta turn this off. Stop overheating this one. All right. Oof. It's going to be rough. How much GPS do I have right now? 189 overheated. That's actually really good. Okay, that's actually really good. There we go. So, let's lock these guys. These guys are not currently able to hit me, I think. Oh yeah, they're hitting me for a little bit. But we should be able to take him out. There we go. Yep. Awesome. Okay, so what kind of damage are they doing? Oh, wait, that's Omni damage from these guys. Okay. So it actually, we take a little bit. Yeah, let's repair this right now. And let's. Um, can't repair the battery right now either. So let's repair this as well. There we go. How much time on these? Full minute, full minute. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> Made it through, now let's repair everything. Alright guys, everything is repaired. We've got, let's see here, oh, 7 minutes and 40 seconds left. Let's jump and let's hope that we don't get a spawn that's too hard to kill here. Because otherwise we might run out of time again. I, I don't want that to happen. Okay, uh, oh wow, this is amazing. Awesome spawn, I should be able to win this. Alright, let's do it. Um... So we're going to orbit the gate. Let me see here. Let's orbit the gate. Orbit at five. And I don't really care about the Vila Swarmers. Let's kill these Damaviks. The only thing that could screw me over here a little bit is the uh, the path for... Oh wait, hold on. Are these guys actually going to hurt me? Okay, I gotta 
be careful here because it is possible that um, that I can't out repair this damage. No, I got to do something different here. I've got to do something different here. I can't. Um, I can't just try to out repair this. Okay. Come on, come on, take me out of here. Take me out of here. Javelin. Okay. Awesome. Ooh, I don't know, guys. This is a tough one. I just took out a bunch of the Villa Swarmers. But now I need to try to stay close to the edge without going out. God damn it, I keep going out. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is so stressful. Okay, so I gotta manually pilot close to the edge here. And I learned this from Louis Retour when he did his tier two guide. Um, gotta manually pilot. Come on, stop going out. I think I'll actually be okay now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the gate and um, orbit this again at 75. And now I think we'll be fine. I think I've taken out enough D DPS. I think I got two of them down, right? Out of the five. Should be enough DPS to now uh, that's been taken out now to win this. Whew, that was a little stressful. Okay, let's stop shooting for a bit until this guy comes back in my range. And you know what? Let's actually switch back to uh, Rage Rockets. Okay, switch to this guy. It's a lot closer. Now, the only thing that could screw me over here is these big rocks that are all around the gate. What's my range on this? 17? Okay, should be fine. Yep, I'm out repairing the DPS that's coming in. And I think we're going to make this. I think we'll get to jump into a tier 3 filament today with this book bill. Oh, hold on. I'm not uh, in range anymore here. Javelin again. All right, guys, we did it. Let's loot this one just in case we get something special. Eh, not really. You know, sometimes you can get a really rare drop in a tier two and a frigate. Could have paid for maybe half the ship if I got lucky. All right, guys, so we finished a tier two filament in a hook bill with one minute and 40 seconds left. Obviously, a lot of this is RNG. I only got one Vegmac, one Venmac spawn, sorry. And uh, let's see what we get in a tier three filament now. God damn, this is more expensive than I thought. Alright, so I need three filaments for a tier three. For a tier three filament, I need three filaments. And these are 4.6 mil each. Eesh. Alright, let's buy it anyways. Here's another, what, 15, 16 mil down the drain? Let's see here. 14.5. Alright. Another 14.5 mil down the drain, and this is pretty much sure at this point that I will die. So once again, if you enjoyed this type of content, make sure you go ahead, like, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, here we go. Jumping in. Obviously, lots of RNG here. If I get three really easy spawns, like Tesla or something like that, I might be able to win. I might be able to make it through to three filament. And I could also die in this very first room. There's going to be a lot of manual piloting, so I do apologize if I don't talk a lot as I'm doing this. It's going to require a lot of attention to try to make it through with this fit in these filaments. Oh, okay. Well, that's... I guess that's it. That's, that's not great. That's really not great. 
Let's orbit at 15. Yeah, there we go. It's pretty much... Uh, let's put in the Scourge. Yeah. I think that's it, guys. I think that's just... I don't know that this ship can take on a Marshal and a Thunder Child and a an Enforcer as well. That's also a Drainer, by the way. Wow. Uh, where is the Drainer, by the way? 28 kilometers out. You know what? Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Yeah, no. No, I'm not making it through this. I think this is the end of it. we go let's see if we can overheat this and overheat this a little bit let's see if that might do something no no i think that's pretty much it okay let's give this one a break not much to do here guys the marshal has like a 50 kilometer range on those missiles so obviously i can't fight him from that range um maybe i could have done, gone for the drainer first but the most important thing here is to try to keep up as much speed as possible against the Marshal. Um, and take him out first to uh, limit the amount of damage that I can take here. And I'm about to need a reload here, so it's probably... It's probably going to be it. Let's turn this off. Let's see, maybe maybe I can reheat this one. These are the mids. My mids are here. Oh, you know what? I can actually overheat the mids a little bit more. Okay, let's see what happens. Ooh! Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm surviving right now, though. I don't know. Overheating the booster is actually kind of helping quite a bit. E no, here we go. Going into armor soon. Let's see. Let's try to overheat the launchers again. Hmm. I'm gonna have to switch my orbit to a different orbit as well. I think I'm gonna switch my orbit to the Thunder Child once the Marshal's up. Guys, am I gonna win this? Am I gonna win this fight against a Thunder Child, a Marshal, and an Enforcer, and a Tier Three Filament, and a freaking Hookbill? These are about to burn out, though. Gotta be careful with that. Wow. Okay. Orbit at ten, and let's hit it. Yeah, that's the only thing. The Thunder Child does so much damage. But he does explosive damage as, as well. So my velocity does matter in uh, in how much damage I, I actually take from him. And that Drainer just uh, did a lot of damage there to my capacitor. Oh, this is bad. This is bad, yeah. Yep, yep. God damn it. God damn it. I need this back on. I need this back on. I need this back on. ASAP. 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 Yeah, there we go. Come on. Okay. It's because I bumped into the gate there. Because I bumped into the gate, the Duran Enforcer was able to catch up with me. Newt me properly, and I also took a lot more damage from the uh, Thunder Child, so let's see what happens here. You know what? I could... Switch to Rage. Am I going to bump into it again? Come on! Okay, no. I didn't. The capacitor is empty. Oh, God damn it. Drained out again. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, at least my... micro warp drive was still running there. Managed to keep running. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Um, you get a lot of cap regeneration there when you're in between like 5 and 15%. Well, GG's. Obviously, I'm about to die here. I thought I thought I had a small chance when I was actually fighting the marshal and seeing it go down and my shield was staying up. But uh, I think what's happening now is because I'm orbiting differently on these guys, um, I am actually getting drained a lot more. And there we go. Yeah, that's it. So once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, that's going to be it. If you guys would like a chance at winning this ship that I was using. So once again, this is the fit. Let's take a second look at it. 
So this is what I was using over here. Um, basically worth about 200 mil. If you guys would like a chance at winning it, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You got to be subscribed and you got to comment below. Let me know in the comments. That's what you have to do. You have to be subscribed and then let me know in the comments what's the next Navy frigate that you'd like me to take into the abyss and see how far it can make it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Fly safe and peace out.